Hello everybody, how is it going? My name is Lucas and today on Amps of the Axe FX3 we are going to be checking out the Sewer Badger 18 and 30 watt amps. And guys, if this is your first time here or if you've been here before, make sure you are subscribed. I do Axe FX tutorials like this, I do gear reviews, and I do giveaways from time to time. I don't want you to miss any of that cool stuff. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and check out the Sewer Badgers. So the Sewer Badger is... It's kind of a class A amp. It's kind of a simple amp, but um, it has some really cool characteristics to it. Uh, John Sewer makes these. He also makes, um, he makes amps and he makes guitars too. His guitars are really good. If you want to check out a really cool demo of the real life amp, check out uh, Pete Thorne's demo. It's from like two, 2008, but it's really good. I mean, it, it sounds really, really cool. Uh, and, and Pete's a really cool guy. So definitely check that out. And this is what it is. It's a very... It's, it's a very simple amp. Um, the controls from the real amp to the Axe FX got shuffled a little bit, but that's really um, not super, super important. All you really need to know is that on the Axe FX, you have a uh, master volume and you have a drive. So as I mentioned before, we have two. We have the 18 and we have the 30. Uh, I'm going to play around with them a little bit and um, get, get you know, I'll let you get to know the amp. Uh, IR wise, I'm using ML Mega Green 57C. This is a Mesa oversized 412 with some of the best greenbacks ever made, right? And I love this for this type of clean, low gain stuff. It just does really well for me. I didn't really mess with the EQ a whole lot on either one of them. I don't think I even did it that much on the 30. Uh, let's see if I did. I did a little bit. I just pulled a little bit of the um, mids out of it. Um, uh, this is the X amp guy, by the way. Um, if you want to read up about it, or you can go into the Axe FX wiki. Uh, let this load up, and uh, you can check out all some cool stuff about it in here. One um, thing, I think Cliff says it in here, or Yak, one of the two, that the um, these amps are a little bassy because they don't have uh, any negative feedback on them, so they can get a little bassy. So. Uh, if you're building your patches and you find that they're bassy, just keep that in mind. Don't be afraid to pull any of the bass out. Guitar I'm using today is my parts caster. Is It is a Warmoth Roasted Maple Neck with a Fender 2020 player body, and it has the stock pickups in it. I know I have been yammering way too much, so let's check out um, the sewers. I'll play a little bit for you, and we'll go through the pickups, and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> So this amp's really cool. You can get clean sounds on it too, which is very, very easy to get a good clean sound. And then you can get kind of that like, you know, that little breakup thing. And I've used this amp before with like, you know, some reverb and some delay. And I've put a little bit of grit on it and it, it, and it works pretty well. I have to say out of the 18 and the 30, I'd rather the 30 because I find the 18 is very finicky, especially when it comes uh, to volume. So I have it kind of low right here and then I'll, I'll put it up to seven so you can kind of hear how that sounds. And as you see, the louder you go, the more bassy it gets. So definitely cut the bass when you're doing that. I much prefer the 30 because I find the 30 has uh, a lot more headroom. Uh, I find the 18, like, the level things are very weird. So um, you kind of have to jack the level up because the clean sounds kind of low. But when you push the drive a little bit more, it comes up too much and things start to, like, sound nasty. So you got to turn the level down. I, 
you, especially with my parts caster, I just prefer the 30 just because of the headroom. <laughs> And that's what I'm talking about, that little light breakup. You can kind of even use that on your clean tones too. Um, putting a little dirt in your cleans is actually kind of cool. Uh, when you're burying it like with like effects and stuff, when you have a little bit of grit, it kind of just helps uh, things gel a little better. See, it kind of has it right there. I find uh, if you leave the master volume at default, which is five, and you bring the drive up right here, um, you can get that light little breakup that I was talking about. Like I said, I prefer the 30 just because of how it reacts and the levels, the levels are kind of a little bit more tame. I mean, of course you use your compressor and do some other stuff with the 18, but, um, the 30, I just like 30 the way it is and it, it, it just levels wise it works out uh you can get some crunchy stuff with this amp um i think this amp personally it excels like clean and light breakup when you get to like more of this the distortion type of stuff it kind of i don't think it's out of control but it's interesting <laughs> This is to me, this is where it excels. And keep it right around six. Um, if you wanted to get more distortion with it, I would slap a drive on it. I think that would be uh, a, a better way to go. And it it is a class A amp in, um, you know, sort of in that, in, in that Vox-ish realm. I'm not saying it sounds like a Vox, I'm just saying like class A amps, the most recognizable one is usually like a Vox or something like that. Um, like I said, for me, the Badger excels are doing like clean light breakup stuff. Uh, and that is gonna be it. Guys, for the Shure Badger, um, very simple amp, um, not not a whole lot of complicated to it. Um, good clean sounds, light breakup stuff. That is where this excels for me, guys. If you thought this video was cool, leave me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, next up on amps of the Axe FX3, we are going to be we are going to be moving into the Fender Realm uh, with some Super Verb Normal and some Super Verb Vibrato. Uh, making our way through the S's uh, as we make our march toward the end of the amps in the Axe FX 3 and FM3 and FM9 because they're in all of the different modeling units. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video, hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who stopped by, comment, like, subscribe. I, I really do appreciate all of it. I hope I communicate that enough. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around. I'll catch you next one. Peace. Peace.